Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. Returning to our series of slightly unusual Napoleonic Kevin Zucker unboxings, and we have this guy, the Six Days of Glory. This is from Clash of Arms, and it's in a standard uh, size box. It's a 1997 release. Um, about a one-inch box, standard bookcase size, as opposed to some of the other ones, which have been the double-sized versions. And uh, let's open her up and see what we get. So this is... Um, on the 1814 campaign in France, the post-Leipzig campaign. Um, so it covers the same subject matter as Napoleon at Bay, um, but it is a it's different series or sub-series called the Days series, which has a different scale as the campaigns of Napoleon series. One thing that I noticed right away is, for one thing, there was that sticker on the, uh, on the shrink wrap. Uh, the 15th anniversary of Theater of the Mind Enterprises. Um, but I also noticed that the uh, the box is uh, this sort of nice linen finish box type thing, um, which is something that Clash of Arms does with their maps, but I've never seen them do it with the box before, at least not in this period. I mean, uh, Legion of Honor kind of has something similar going on as well. Um, so let's see what we get. So the first thing I'm removing is the game rules. So this is a black and white... Uh, pretty standard looking format. Feels like about 24 pages. It is a 24 page book. The table of contents at the back. I guess I would rather have a table of contents at the back than not have one. Of the 24 pages, um, it looks as though roughly 16 or 17 are um, actual rules and scenarios and the rest are designer's notes. So actual rules look like they come to roughly 15 pages. That is very lean um, for this uh, designer. Um, even the Library of Napoleonic Battles series, which is not especially complicated, is, has more rules than this. Um, this is also said to have quite high um, solitaire suitability, for what that's worth. So we have three scenarios, too. We have La Bataille de champ uh, we have La Bataille de Montmoral, and La Bataille de Beauchamp, and uh, the campaign game, Les Six Jours de Gloire, uh, The Six Days of Glory. Uh, so, do we? I think there are daily turns in this. I've misstated that in the past with these games before, so don't, don't quote me on that. But I think that because... It is called the Days, I think it's called the Days series because it's got daily turns. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. So I'm very curious to see how this plays. I have a couple of these now. The other one I have is 19, uh, 18, obviously, 06 Rosbach Avenged. Um, we have what looks like one counter sheet here, and it's a uh, pretty standard, thickish um, Clash of Iron, uh, Clash of Iron, uh, Clash of Arms stock. Uh, looks like there's maybe a tiny bit of registration issue, but nothing to squawk about. I, I see that over here uh, with the demoralized markers, uh, but nothing I would be willing to complain about. And of course, we have hidden fo hidden forces here too. Uh, we also have. Uh, we, looks like we have some Prussians. We have the French. Obviously, we have some Prussians. Russians. Uh, Prussians under Blucher, which makes sense for this campaign. Um, Russians under Austin Sacken, which also makes sense for this campaign. And the big uh, army under Schwarzenberg uh, is not necessarily going to be in this campaign. So, so we have a map as well. Uh, and it is a standard war game size map, which means it's, it's roughly 22 by 34, something like that. And it, too, is on this rather nice linen-esque paper. And it's got a quite distinctive look. It's very crisp, too. Uh, it's got a quite distinctive look to it. Uh, who is the map artist here? So, see, Rick Barber. It kind of looks like it, but then it kind of doesn't. Uh, let's see here. Pretty sure that was in here somewhere. Map art by Rick Barber. Yeah, this is a little bit unusual for, for Rick Barber's style, but that was the person I immediately thought of when I saw the map, too. Um, so one map, so uh, reasonable sized. Um, the terrain key up here, which I'm 
pretty sure you can't see in frame on the video. That'll be right here. We have a CRT, uh, which appears to be uh, a lot of uh, retreats one way or the other, but also a lot of exchanges in the middle of the table. French casualty track, because you're keeping track of that. That's very interesting. Um, this is the smallest of these games that I have so far. I think there's three games in the series. Uh, this one, I, I want to say, is a little smaller than Rustbach Avenged. All right, so we have a Radon Clarifications half-size sheet of paper. So nothing huge. Russian setup and reinforcement table on one side. French setup and reinforcement table on one side. Prussian setup and reinforcement table on one side. And then we have a Clash of Arms customer response card and a little other thing that says uh, some stuff about the other Napoleonic games that they did from Mr. Zucker. Um, so this is per pretty interesting. And one of the things that interested me in it, um, in addition to just interest in the subject, um, is the compactness of this particular title. Um, it's one counter sheet, it's one map, there's not like a bunch of off-map displays or anything, pretty much everything you would want as far as I can tell um, at the, the level to which I have perused this thing so far is right in front of us here. One counter sheet, one map, a couple of player aid cards, uh, everything else is pretty much on the map. You don't need a lot of additional space to set this thing up. So very interesting. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the little bell icon to get notified when new content comes out. Until next time, thanks again for watching and happy wargaming.